The Lion Rock Cavern, or short LRC, is a new concept for underground storage of natural gas. The development of the LRC technology started in Sweden in the 1980s and combines modern technology, safety and environmental thinking. The main principle is to store gas at high pressure in line rock caverns at shallow depths. The rock absorbs the pressure load and the lining ensures gas tightness. The LRC demo project is a joint venture between Gas de France and Seedcraft. The goal of the project is to demonstrate the feasibility of the LRC technology. The project is partially funded by the European Union. The LRC demo plant consists mainly of the above ground facility, the underground line storage cavern and the connecting pipeline to the gas grid. The shape of the storage cavern is like a vertical cylinder with rounded top and bottom. The diameter is 36 meters and the height is 52 meters. The top of the cavern is at the depth of 115 meters below the ground surface. The geometrical volume is 40,000 cubic meters, which means that 10 million cubic meters of natural gas can be stored at the maximum pressure of 200 bar. The LRC demo plant is situated near the coastal city of Halmstad in southwestern Sweden. Located close to the main gas pipeline, it's a good spot to serve the Swedish gas market. The construction of the below ground facilities started with the excavation of the Axis tunnels. Next, the cupola shaped upper part of the cavern was excavated followed by the bottom part. The cylindrical middle part was excavated last. Smooth blasting technique was used to create a rock surface suitable for the subsequent installation of the lining. The steel lining was erected as freestanding tank. The lining was welded together from large preformed steel plates of ductile carbon steel with a thickness of about 12 mm. Very high quality demands were put on the steel material and the welding procedures. All welding and inspection were carried out in the lower part of the cavern. The vertical jacks were used to successively lift the tank. The role of the steel lining in the LRC concept is to provide absolute gas tightness. The last stage of the cavern construction was to fill the space between the steel lining and the rock with a high uniform self-compacting concrete without the use of vibrating pokers. The concrete serves as a smooth base for the lining and as a low transfer media. Water was filled inside the steel tank to support the concrete pressure during the filling. A steel reinforcement mesh placed in the concrete distributes the deformations uniformly. The storage cavern is connected to the above ground facility via a drilled vertical shaft. The shaft contains pipes for injection and withdrawal of gas. The gas process equipment in the above ground facility is similar to that of salt cavern storage. The LRC demo plant can be operated from the control room in the above ground facility. After an initial operational period, however, the LRC demo plant will be operated remotely from the central gas grid control room. The waste rock mass, consisting of a good quality gneiss, can be crushed and used for roads and buildings. Close to the market, high prices can be achieved for the material. The construction of the LRC demo plant was finished in the summer of 2002. Thereafter, an extensive scientific testing program started, including a loading of the cavern up to 220 bar in multiple load cycles. The behavior of the rock and the lining was monitored by a comprehensive measurement system. Commercial operation of the LRC demo plant will start mid-2003. The construction of the LRC demo plant is the final step of a long development process that started 20 years ago. The storage will improve the reliability and the deliverability in the Swedish gas grid. In a wider perspective, the demo plant has finally lifted the LRC technology from the development phase. The main advantages of the LRC technology are Great freedom of localization with respect to geology high deliverability and turnover rates, peak demand. 
low impact on landscape and environment, no need for gas drying. You can construct the plant in steps up to the needed volume. The LRC concept has emerged as an existing commercial technology to compete with other existing storage alternatives on the market. The international interest in the LRC concept is also great, for instance in both North America, Japan and the Far East.